Hey guys, today we have this Tom Sands guitar built by Tom Sands from the UK. If you'd like to skip straight to hearing how this guitar sounds, click on the timestamp in the description below. Because we have the opportunity to have these two Tom Sands guitars in our shop at the same time, we took the liberty to record a comparison video for you. Tom has also created his own videos on these two guitars, so click on the links in the description below to check them out. For those who do not already know, Tom Sands is an Irvin Samoji apprentice. He's our only UK-based luthier and we're very excited to have these guitars in our store today. He already has a very long waiting list of over 3 years, so this is a great opportunity to get these guitars at his current prices today without the long wait. As with any Samoji apprentice, Tom is on the fast track to having a high base price and long waiting list. So get in touch with us if you're interested in either of these guitars or securing a build slot with us. What we have here is a Tom Sands Model L. The L stands for large and is equivalent to the Samoji Modified Dreadnought with um, a 16 inch lower belt. Despite its large lower belt, it is relatively still comfortable to hold um, due to the Laskin style arm bevel here, which is beautifully sculpted, as well as a Menza wedge where the top where your arm rests is slightly thinner than the bottom where, your, where it rests on your thigh. No expense has been spared on the appointments of this guitar. Um, so here you can check out the fancy rosette in Makasa Ebony as well as a brushed copper element right here. So all these photos um, you can view it on our website so you can check it out on the link in the description. Alright so this guitar even comes with the upgraded Robson Lux 501 tuners, all right? And as with both, both of these Tom Sands, they both have a Wenge neck, which is quite unusual. And to me, it looks really great. And it, it adds some extra weight, which adds to the sustain of the guitar as well. All right, and of course, we have this beautifully figured Madagascar Rosewood. So Madagascar Rosewood is really similar to Brazilian Rosewood in the tap tone and its tonal properties. So it has this um, shimmery high end that you can't really get with other, to other rosewoods like you know, Indian rosewood for example. So this particular guitar was Tom's um, very own showroom piece. So as such, it is in like new condition as he has given it a thorough uh, cleanup and setup before sending it over to us. So as Tom had intended um, for it to be built, this guitar suits a wide range of guitar playing styles. Uh, be it from strumming, flat picking, and even um, gentle, delicate finger style. So without further ado, here's a little demo by Nick to show you what this guitar is capable of.
If you like what you just heard, please do not hesitate to get in touch with us on any of our social media platforms and we'd love to find you your dream guitar. Click the subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos.